have some concerns about safety, the barrel gets very hot. Mm, what's wrong with that? Just, uh, and maybe she two wants box to touch it. Are, are getting hot too. What, what do you want? Yeah, no, I, I think uh, you're right. If a, a conventional wood stove is going to get um, probably even hotter, because of the barrel, a lot of the heat comes off the top. Yeah. And so if you've got a child or something, I think a conventional wood stove is going to get... Uh, up there, that's fine. Yeah, I'll I, the... I do have a child, and I have <laughs> had... A few. Yes, yeah. and I have had a few. Uh, I've, wood, I've had wood stoves, and we had to have a dog um, kennel fence around the wood stove, uh, taking up uh, about a six by six area of the living room for them to not get close enough to burn themselves severely on the wood stove. Yeah. And when we switch to a rocket, they can touch this bit and 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 be shocked by it, but not hurt, not sent to the hospital with a second or third degree burn. Now, if they hit up there, yeah. then then that's serious negligence on our part for them to get up that high. Um, <laughs> and, um, uh, or their older brothers. Yeah, but they're, 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 yeah, so, so it, does, it does get very hot up there, but not where they can reach. Uh, and, um, but but what's, what's the point? I've been brought up in a house. We, uh, my parents had seven children. Yeah. And the, the, there was only one room heated by a coal stove. And that got which, very hot. It, it was very hot. And you don't touch that twice. No, <laughs> but nobody of the children had severe burns, ever. Yes. Yeah, what, what are you talking about? Maybe the children she plans on having would be stupider than most. No, or maybe well, they've not experienced I have a, heard a wood stove. I have heard other people say that it doesn't look like a wood stove. Right? No. So the barrel in the middle of the house, it doesn't look like a wood stove. So? I know. I, I know, I know, but people say that. It doesn't if look you, like a wood stove, so it shocks me because it you, doesn't look like one. If you really want the touchable temperature all the way around, that is one of the advantages that some masonry theater builders point out, that it's not frying dust, it's, it's a little cleaner in that way. Yeah, the only you thing that's do, hot is the door. The only thing that's hot is the door, then you can build the masonry bell like you were doing this week. Um, I like the immediate radiant heat off the barrel, and I think having the part that's this high or higher at wood stove temperatures is a benefit because I like to feel it across the room. Yeah. Um, but if that's not what you want, there's ways to heat shield it or use an alternative. But I, yeah, I think, I mean, an open fire in the middle of the floor to cook on is very dangerous to children. Wood stoves are fairly dangerous. I would put this as less dangerous than wood stoves not just in terms of surface temperature, but again, you don't have an overnight fire. The risks of doing something to your family while they sleep are much lower. Um, but then, I think, I think it is fair to say that it is pretty safe to blow warm air at people. Like, like it's really hard to kill somebody by blowing warm air at them, and if the HVAC industry is your standard for safety, Depends on what you mix in with that air, but yeah. Yes, yes, oh, okay, so you could, yeah. Or, or what velocity you blow it. I mean, even yeah, if we go that far, <laughs> and you've still got wood, you've still got your cook stove, you still got your oven, and even hot water can scald. It's like, how do you feel about a Vermont casting thing in your house? I won't have one in my house, and I never would. I would. Get, I got something less efficient when I had a wood stove because I had children, teenagers, young teenagers feeding the thing, and I did not want to the question of can you get this cherry red no I can't because the thing isn't efficient enough to get cherry red the Gilligan factor had to not exceed what I expected to see every day um, so no I couldn't use a Vermont well, casting but I mean, that's my, my return question like I wouldn't even answer that with a straight answer I would answer it with a return question okay get a Vermont casting how do you feel about that that's cherry yeah. red. That it does, well, you well, don't want your kids around that. But, and it's but beyond have, her what experience. What do you mean by there is a, a, a hot barrel? Yes, and? Yeah, no, I, I think that's the end of it. And it's like, you know, you're, you're really, if, if, if yes. that's your thing about how rocket mass heaters suck, I think that you run out of excuses on how rocket mass heaters suck. I right. think so, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a That's non, weak. A non, non statement. Yeah. yeah that's, They'll get a Vermont casting and then, like, watch your children 24 7 because, you know. The conventional wood stoves are going to be worse. So. 
If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Thank you.